Welcome to the Caribbean Vegan Foodie. Today we are making some sorrel drinks. Yes, some Caribbean sorrel drinks. But before we get into the video, remember to like, tell a friend, subscribe and comment down below. Let's go. It's a time again, it's a Christmas season. And if you're from the Caribbean, you know how much we love our sorrel. And I have a simple, amazing recipe for you so that you can drink some sorrel wherever you are in the world. I was lucky this year to get some fresh sorrel. I went to the Caribbean grocery store here in Toronto and there they were, I was so excited, so I got a whole bunch. So all you will need is some sorrel, and if you can't get the fresh one as I did, you can always use this dry one that's also in a Caribbean store and sometime in the main supermarket. And you will need some ginger, a lot of it, depending on how spicy you like it, and some star anise and cinnamon stick. Yeah, that's all you need. So first we're gonna start by getting our water ready for steeping our sorrel. So you wanna add some ginger, some star anise, and cinnamon stick to your water and let that boil for about 10 minutes. And also I forgot to add some orange peel. And I didn't have an orange when I was making this video, so forgive me, but it still tastes amazing. I sure wish you could smell this. It smells so amazing. Your house will smell so good. So after boiling your water for about 10 minutes, you wanna add your sorrel and let that boil for about five more minutes. This is optional. You can always turn the stove off at this point and cover it and let it steep for about 24 hours to two days. Some people even let it steep for longer. You can let it steep for a shorter period of time. If you're, you can't wait that long to drink your sorrel, you can let it steep for about two hours. So boil it for a longer period, about 10 minutes, and then let it steep so that it can infuse with all the nice flavor of sorrel, the ginger, the cinnamon, the star anise, and you will have this amazing drinks, amazing flavorful taste of the Caribbean. Look at that. Mmm, the smell, the color. Doesn't that remind you of Christmas? Doesn't that look like Christmas? The last step in making your sorrel is to strain your mixture in a separate container then sweeten to taste. So I'm a person who like my sorrel to be a little tangy and to taste all the nice spice I add so I tend not to add a lot of sugar but there's some people like my mom who would like her sour to be super sweet so she add extra sugar so this totally depends upon you how you like it so remember to taste 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 and adjust to your preference now it's time to enjoy by the way how do you like your sorrel sweet or tangy you know, I've been thinking that it's full time would we'll give sorrel the ranking that it deserves as national holiday drinks of the Caribbean. There's no Christmas without sorrel panettiere. Who is with me? Thank you for watching the Caribbean Vegan Foodie. Remember to like, tell a friend, comment down below, and subscribe. And have a wonderful holiday. Until next time, walk good.